All right, so with this lesson, I'm assuming you've done the Hello Kitty app. And with that app, it's a basic event handling app. When the user clicks the kitty, you know, the meow sound plays. Okay, so I'm going to change this. And what I want to show you is um, if statement, so decision making. So your app can make decisions. And I'm going to call this app President's If. So I'm saving as to, to make a new project. And it's going to be called President's If. Okay. But really, all it's going to do is instead of showing the kitty, I'm going to show President Obama. And then when I click on Obama, I'll switch to a picture of Romney and vice versa. And to do this, I'm going to have to show um, both pictures going back and, back and forth. So I've already added Obama in here. Let me upload Romney. So I'm going to upload the Romney picture. Um, you can upload as many images and sounds as you want to, to your app. So now I'm going to have all these pictures loaded. And um, now when I click on Kitty, or uh, sorry, on this button component, I'm going to make it so Obama is the first one to appear. So right when the app starts, we'll see our president. All right, let's go do the behavior. Um, all right, so we're not going to want to play any sounds or vibrate. But when we click, we're going to want to change the picture. And we've already set it up so Obama appears when the app starts. And so, you know, first thing I'm going to do is let's make it so Romney shows up. Well, the way to show that is we've got our button component, and we need to change the image property. All right? So this is a button one. It's a button component, and hit it as a property called image, which is really just a file name. Okay? And what we want to do for now is let's just change the file name to Romney so Romney will appear. So I'm going to set the image property... I'm going to grab a text block. And I'm going to type in the name of that file, romney.jpg. Be real careful because this has to match one of your uploaded images. All right, good. If I try this right now, I click on Obama and the picture changes to Romney. Of course, if I click on Romney or click on the button again, it stays Romney, right? It's always changing to Romney. Okay, so the purpose of our lesson here is let's, to talk about if statements or if else statements, okay? I'm going to grab an if else statement and I'm going to put it in here. And, uh, you know, in some conditions, I want to set the picture to Romney, but there's other times when I'm going to want to set it to Obama. So I just did a command C and a command V on my Mac to copy and paste that. I'm going to change this Romney to the name of our Obama file, which was Obama.jpg. Okay, so sometimes I want to show Romney, sometimes Obama. And really the test here is if I'm already showing Obama, show Romney, else I'm showing Romney, show Obama. Okay, well the way I check is, you know, I'm not going to grab the set button what dot image, which changes the image. I really just want to see what the existing value of the image is. So I'm going to grab this gray reference block, button one dot image. And I want to know if that image, so what's already showing, is equal to, so from the math block, I'll grab an equal sign. I want to know if that's equal to, sorry, I'm going to copy the Obama, Command C, Command V. If it's equal to Obama, that's when I want to change to Romney. Now, when the button's clicked, if it's not equal to Obama, I'm going to change it to Obama. Okay, let's check our emulator out. Uh, Romney showing, click Obama, click Romney, Obama, Romney. Okay, so we've now got a toggle button, right? Every time I click it, I can switch the, the picture. Okay, I'm going to show you one more, one more thing. Let's, let's make it more like a game. Let's make it random. So some of the time randomly show Obama, some of the time randomly show um, Romney. Okay, so I'm going to go to the math block. And there's actually a random integer block. And this just generates a random number. In this case, we want to make that number between 1 and 2. So you, know, you can kind of type on the screen to get blocks. I'm going to grab a 1 block in that way. And I'm going to grab a 2 block in the same way. Okay, so this, this call to random integer, it's going to give me either a 1 or a 2. 50% of the time, one or the other. Okay, so I'm no longer going to compare with that. I'm going to compare with random integer. But what I want to know is 
is that random number that I just got, is it equal to 1 or 2? So I'm going to compare it to 1. Okay, so this, this little comparison is a little bit strange, but I'm grabbing a random number between 1 and 2, and is it 1? Okay, so I know really this is going to be 50% of the time true, 50% false, because 50% of the time it's going to be 2. Anyway, that's going to be my test, and that's, that's it. So I, now I've got an app where it's going to randomly choose Romney or Obama. So if I go grab my emulator, I'm going to click once, it changed, okay. Click again, didn't change, okay. Click again, changed. Click, no change. Click, no change. Click, change. So, I mean, you could test this more, but essentially we're randomly choosing which picture shows up. And, you know, of course, in a lot of games, this is, you know, you, you need some randomness. Uh, but anyway, I want to give you another um, example of a if-else condition just to give you an idea of the kinds of tests you can do.